Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2 number 49 and here we were given a system of equations and it had some fractions in it. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each of these equations by their respective LCDs so that I can get rid of those fractions. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 6. Um, the second equation, it looks like the LCD is 4. And the third equation, the LCD is 2. And when I do that, I get down here, right? That's my new system. And just since we love fractions so much, let me go through the first distribution and talk about this, right? So if I wanted to distribute this 6 to these three terms, or actually, JK, the fourth one, i got to get it on the other side of the equals. This would be 6 times x minus 3 over 6 plus 6 times y plus 2 over 2, oops, minus... 6 times z minus 3 over 3, and that would be equal to 12. So the 6s would cancel. That would leave me with just x minus 3. 2 divided by 6 is 3, so that would be plus 3 times y plus 2. 3 goes into 6 2 times, so this would be minus 2 times z minus 3, equaling 12. And if you take a look at this equation here, it is quite literally this equation here. All right, and I then do that for the second and third equation as well, and then go ahead, and once you get there, distribute these, right? Simplify this thing. You wind up with a much nicer looking system of equations, and at that point, I'm going to eliminate the z variable. All right, the z's, they all have a coefficient on the order of two, and I've got one with a negative and two with a positive, so I can combine the first and second equations and the first and third equations pretty nicely. I don't even have to multiply by anything. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the first two equations together, right? And that gets me to 2x plus 5y equaling 7. And then I'm going to add the first and third equation because they also have opposite z signs. And that gets me to 2x plus 2y equaling 10. All right, and then it's not looking too bad. There's my new system. While there's no terms that have opposite signs, at least the order of the coefficient in front of the x's, it's the same. So we've got twos. So I'm just going to multiply this first equation here by negative 1. And that's what you see me doing in this work here. And once I solve, or once I simplify all that, I, I can actually get my y variable being negative 1. And then it's all a matter of the back sub, right? So I'm going to take y equaling negative 1, and I'm going to plug it into that equation just because I can, right? And I get x equaling 6. And then I'm going to take both the x equaling 6 and the y equaling negative 1 and plug it back into one of the original equations. And I'm just going to opt to pick this one. Doesn't matter which one you pick. All right, and then you wind up finding out z equals 0, and there's my ordered triple. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.